Staying with the World Cup fever, football fans around the country are waiting to cheer on the Tiger Warriors. It's raining in Seoul, but fans are already painting stadiums and squares red. Our Yi is standing by at Gwangamun Square right now. Xiu, how are things looking so far? Daniel, the cold and the rain cannot stop these red devils who've been out here since late in the afternoon to cheer and sing for South Korea. And tonight, the police are expecting around 39,000 people to come out to six squares and stadiums around the country to cheer for Team Korea. Of those, around 30,000 are expected to be here at Gwangwamun Square. That's 4,000 more than the number of fans who actually gathered here last week for South Korea's first match. But the Red Devils have said they expect only around 8,000 to 10,000 at the square due to the weather. Regardless of numbers, there is no doubt the square will be filled with excitement. Take a listen to what the fans have to say. It's raining hard and I hope that it will be raining gold so we pick up a good win. I hope Team Korea wins tonight so we can move on to the round of 16. Meanwhile, up to 30 millimeters of rain per hour and heavy winds are expected tonight in central regions. So if anyone's still looking to go out to street cheering events, please make sure to have umbrellas and raincoats ready. Looks like we'll need more red umbrellas or red raincoats out there. Uh, rain or shine, they are wrapped up and energized to cheer on the Tech of Warriors. Shio, what can you tell us about, of course, most importantly, safety measures? That's right, Daniel. Even more so than the last time, this city, the police and the Red Devils are making sure that no safety incident happens tonight. The Red Devils, just like the last time, have cleared passageways for police cars and fire trucks to pass through in case of emergency. They've also adi installed additional screens for people to spread out more. As for the police, they have dispatched over 150 police officers and 12 teams of riot police to Gwangwamun Square alone. Around the country, over 300 officers, 14 teams of riot police, and 32 special assault commandments have been dispatched to public cheering events. This is much more than the number of people dispatched last week for South Korea's first Super World Cup match against Uruguay. Daniel? Thank you for being out there for us. We appreciate it.